Sorry, everybody. We uh, ran into technical difficulties. So I'm going to resume from where I was at. Yes, uh, as I said, this is a Bevo Tropical Tunic Eagle. Mint condition. This is a uh, SA belt buckle in astonishing condition. Uh, but it's really nice back here, considering some of the. Um, well, it looks, actually looks like it's been burnt or something happened right here. Okay, this is maybe one of my favorites German World War One and World War II medals in Italian. These, of course, are all my medals. I have so many medals. And these are all stuff that I love to buy. Right here we have a K98 bayonet. This came along and it's uh came along with one of my K98s. And, uh, they have the same serial number matching, <clears throat> which is pretty daggum rare for something like this. Right here, we have a World War II American M1 carbine bayonet in astonishing condition. This also came with my carbine, but, uh, it doesn't match. It's like 100,000 to 200,000 serial numbers off. Okay, this is an inter interesting story how I, um, uh, I... I acquired this. My dad gave this to me uh, about 30 years ago. My dad uh, and his mom and his dad uh, and his dad, well, my grandpa owned a um, a liquor store, and they could come and trade stuff for liquor. And a old man from World War One brought this in and traded this in for um, a small bottle of liquor. I mean, I just wish I was alive back in those days, and I could tell my dad. Well, it was a good deal or not, but what this was, this is the best deal I think my dad maybe have done. Let me put this back here. Alrighty, I found uh, the story behind this is a Type 99 bayonet. I believe it stabbed something because there's a lot of blood marks along the blade, but I have it sheathed currently. Uh, how I acquired this.